YouTube. How you guys doing? What's going on? So today guys, we're going to be doing something very different. Now what I mean by this, normally my videos are very structured. So I have a plan in mind. I kind of, you know, write down some notes about what I'll be talking about, what I'll be doing, then I go produce the content. Today, this video is very unstructured. We're going to be sitting here, and I'm going to be speaking straight from the head. Like I've got so many things flooding my mind that I just want to flesh out of here. I want to let you guys know what's up. Like I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys this video. So, by the way, this is going to be going in my 10K playlist video. I have got, I mean, my 10K playlist video in my 10K playlist because I haven't made a playlist for hitting 10,000 subscribers. And I want that to be motivational. I want that to be inspirational. I want to be able to look back on that in the future and think, holy shit. Like, I made a video not too long ago, a couple days ago now. I had a progression video. I showed you guys how I went from nothing. Zero subscribers, no equipment, to now 10K subscribers. I've got all the equipment I need. I've realized, hey, I've unconsciously been doing something that I've never, never realized. And what that's been, I've been trying to create a business and it's all been unconsciously because what I've been doing, I've been making money, you know, not through YouTube, but outside of YouTube. And I've been investing that money into YouTube equipment to make YouTube a career. And I've realized because of that, this can be a career. Like I've invested money and I've actually got things out of it. Like I've gained subs. And because of all this guys, there's so many things that just changed my mentality throughout life. And I just want to let you guys know what's up. So, this may be a boring video, and that's kind of why I was contemplating whether to do this video or not, but I feel like it's something I need to do, and like I said, I can just look back on this in the future. So, the thing is, we're all brought up the same way by our, by our parents. Our parents go, you know, go to school, you finish year 12, and then from there you might go to university. Then after university, obviously, you get your education, then you go work full-time. You go work full-time for someone else. But you know what I've realized recently? And you guys are probably wondering, why has my mentality changed? It's because... I'm now thinking about business. I'm thinking about being self-employed, creating my own money. Like, I want money, I want an income to be reliant on my work ethic rather than time. Now, what I mean by that, when you're working for someone else, you go put time in. So, for example, you go work a six-hour shift, you're getting paid 20 bucks an hour. So, you know, if you're working a six-hour shift, 20 bucks an hour, that's $120 for a six-hour shift. And what I've realized... That shit ass. Who wants to go to work and in exchange for time, get money? That is the worst way to live life. We live life once, guys. And what I've realized hitting 10K, like I said, I want to be self-employed. So rather than in exchange for time getting paid, I'm getting paid for my work ethic. And what I've learned through YouTube, I don't just want to create a business through YouTube. I want to create a business outside of YouTube as well. Fitness business. I'm currently in my third year of exercise science. Just about to finish in two weeks' time. Then I have that break. And then from there, I can go focus on YouTube and try and make this a business. That's really what I want to try and do. That's why I speak to you guys about this. But once I'm done with uni and stuff like that, I want to try and focus on a business outside of here. Something to do with fitness because I'm really into fitness. And the reason I'm making this video... I want to sit here and let you guys know that we don't have to... We're always brought up like everyone says there's a certain way about life. You know, these are the non-risk takers. we got to go work five days a week for someone else. That is a shit life. We live once. What? Dude, there's a, there's a fact out there that 85% of us don't enjoy our jobs. Like if you guys are working, 85% of the whole worldwide population don't enjoy their jobs. If we live once... And five days a week is basically half your life. If you're not including sleep, that is literally like three quarters of your life. Life is shit. No one enjoys it. People might say they enjoy it. If you ask, do you enjoy your job? Their answers are always, it's all right. It's never good. It's never bad. It's all right. And if they say it's good, they're most likely talking shit unless they own their own business. But the thing is, I've realized, I want to go like, do some awesome, awesome things. Like, no one believes in me. Like, my parents always say, you know, I want to go create a business. Oh, you can't do it. You need this amount of money to go do that, which is true. To create a business outside of YouTube, like in real life, you need, you generally need money because you need to invest money, for example, for a warehouse, create a gym from that, make an income. You know what I mean? But YouTube's a good starting point. What I'm trying to do, I want to give you guys all my plans, my goals for my future. So what I'm trying to do right now, you guys know I'm trying to get this apparel going. The biggest, biggest, like, stepping stone I have to step over is the design. I'm kind of, it's like I've been walking, you know, been rising, 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 all of a sudden I've hit this brick wall and I need to get over that wall and that, the brick wall is a design, like, I can't think for design for my logo because I really want to get some apparel going, like, I don't just want to create apparel, I want to create a brand, but at the moment, I need to take that first stepping stone, I need to get just something simple, nice that you guys might like to wear. I love to wear it myself. That's what I know I love. You know, make some YouTube videos, wear my own apparel. That'd be so sick. But I need to create something simple. And then from there, I want to create a brand. And then 
through that brand, I want to create a business out of that brand outside of YouTube. And like I said, I want that to be something to do with fitness. Like I would love to open up my own gym, my own kind of fitness clothing or just clothing in general, an awesome brand, but I just can't quite think of it. And that's why I'm making this video. I just, this is what's going through my mind, guys. Like this is why I'm so hyped. Like I've realized, why are we all brought up to work five days a week? Life is shit. If you're working five days a week for someone else, your life is shit. I don't care what you say. It's shit. It ain't fun. How can be you be doing the exact same thing five days be exciting? I just want to let you guys know and get the message out there. There's so many other ways of earning income than working for someone five days a week. And my issues at the moment, the things I want to be able to get better at. I need a 100% workout. Okay, what do I enjoy? I understand I enjoy YouTube 100%. The best decision I've ever done is, you know, started a YouTube channel. But my whole plan for now, I've got to grow my YouTube channel. I've got to create a small business on this channel myself. Once I've done that, that's when I go progress like to bigger things. Because you know what's funny, guys? All right, I'm, this is a true fact. So you have low income earners. You have the moderate income earners, which is most of your guys' parents. So you're probably just moderate, you know, just, you know, they get enough income to pay their bills and stuff, but then they have a little leftover which they pay for liabilities. So stuff like cars, you know, fancy little cars, um, boats, jet skis, stuff like that. But you know the difference between a moderate income earner, which like I said is your parents, and a high income earner in the millions? Initially, they earn the exact same income, but the difference is moderate income earners with their extra money, like I said earlier, they go buy liabilities, cars, jet skis, boats, stuff like that, whatever. The thing with high income earners, what they do with their profits, so some of their money goes to bills and stuff, but what they do with their leftover money, and mind you, like I said, they earn the exact same as a moderate income earner. Initially, that profit of money, rather than going to liabilities, cars, boats, jet skis, they use that revenue and they, what's the word I'm looking for? They invest that money. And what I mean by this is kind of what I've done with YouTube unconsciously without realizing. I've invested my money into equipment. That's what high income earners do. They invest their money on bigger and better things like a business. And what happens when you invest money, you go broke originally, but over time it grows and grows and grows. You keep investing money, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then all of a sudden you're putting a bit of money in, huge amounts is coming back at you. And that's what I've realized. I'm, I'm not ready to take risks, go do things. I want to make this YouTube channel massive, man. I want, I've got so many things in mind. I really want to create a business, but the thing with business, I need to find something I'm 100% interested in because so many people, you know, create businesses, but there's like a stat out there that like 90% of businesses fail. Like they could put 100 grand in and receive nothing out of it. So they just wasted 100 grand. And the people that fail, see the thing is a business, YouTube is a business and it fluctuates. It's constantly up and down. You have periods where you go right down and you're like, holy shit, do I quit? Do I keep going? And the people that aren't 100% dedicated to their business, when they get right down there, that's when they quit. That's when they're like, hey, I'm over it. This is too hard. And that's, that's like when I'm, you're probably sitting here thinking, oh, I ain't that hard. You know what? You progress, it gets hard. Trust me. Sometimes you lose, like through YouTube, for example, as a business, I lose subscribers. You get hate, you get bullshit, you get so much shit. But if you thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it, you'll keep going through those hard moments. And that's what makes your business so successful. So I need to find a business outside of YouTube, an idea, an idea that I'm just ridiculously interested in. And I feel like that is a gym. I'm so into fitness. I'd love to open up a gym, but at the moment I'm a little confused on how to do it. So I'm trying to, you know, read shit, trying to work out what it's done. But yeah, guys, that's just, I'm just being honest with you guys. I just, the reason I want to get this out, I just want to let you guys know what is up. You guys have all noticed my whole mentality's changed. Because of all this, I've realized I don't want to work five days a week. Because the thing is, I'm at a point in life where I've got to go do that. You guys may be younger, you may be older, you may already be working five days a week. And if you are, I'm so sorry for you guys. You may not realize that you only live once. Go make the most of life. Don't go working five days a week for someone else. Go try and work for yourself. Now, some people may enjoy working five days a week for someone else. That's awesome if you do, honestly. But the thing is, like I said, there's like a stat out there. 85% of people don't enjoy their jobs. And I guarantee you, so the, the other 15% that said yes, probably the 10% of that 15% just said yes, so it makes them feel better or something. Like, there's probably only 5% that enjoy it. Like, but yeah. You guys ever thought about that? Like, I've just realized that hitting 10K, I'm like, all right, this is the point I'm creating a business. Now, it's not just earning, oh, by the way, my income off YouTube, I'm only making about a dollar per video, but if a video goes viral, obviously you make maybe 10 bucks. I'm not really earning something, but the thing is, you don't just earn an income 
off ads. There's so many ways you affiliate with other companies and then you get a certain commission every time you know you guys for example buy one of their products i want to get into all of that but the thing is when i affiliate with companies i'm not going to be looking for a company that's just bullshit i'm not like i'm not into it it'll be something i'm really really into like i'm going to start doing running videos soon i want to get your guys health to an optimal because i feel like there's a lot of fitness youtubers out there but they they're just not very like for example a lot of fitness youtubers just say go to the gym and lift weights you ain't gonna increase your cardio respiratory fitness and get super healthy doing that like people don't realize just going to the gym isn't enough to live a nice long healthy life you want to be able to run as well running is the most important important fitness parameter to increase your cardio respiratory fitness and live a nice long healthy life and i want to get you guys into running i'm going to take you guys alongside me we're going to be running together in the mountains in the hills in the bushland it's honestly awesome fun like people don't realize there's so many different running techniques like to be able to run there's a four foot strike a hill strike certain like just motions with your arms because i used to run like really 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 long distances like 30 k's and stuff when i did that i realized okay you get injuries i used to get neck strains from running like it makes no sense but you, you learn a lot and yeah, I've just got so many things I want to share with you guys over the future. I want you guys to watch me progress, and I want you guys to progress as well. It's not just about growing a YouTube channel. It's about anything. Fitness, like, the most important thing about life is an income, isn't anything. It's about health. It's about how you feel about yourself, your self-esteem. I've met so many people with low self-esteem, and I've always been kind of, I would say I have a high self-esteem. Like, I enjoy my life. Obviously, sometimes it gets a little stressed out, like when I think, shit, I'm going to be working five days a week for someone else, but I've learned a lot, and... Yeah, I want you guys to learn a lot. Like, you've got to start loving yourself. Start eating healthy. Now, when I when I say I eat healthy, I don't eat that healthy. I just ate two lollies. But it's like, I generally eat healthy. I like to run most days of the week. I go to gym most days of the week. I love life. And doing YouTube is just awesome. If that could be my life right there, that's 100% what I want. But... Yeah, I feel like I have to work part-time, maybe full-time for a few years to hopefully get to that point. But yeah, unless my YouTube channel can somehow blow up before the end of next year, then I could go pursuing YouTube and go create a business and try and do things. But I tell you guys what, if I ever made an income off YouTube, that income will be going straight to investment. I'll be investing in things to make things bigger and better so I earn a better income. That's the way life goes, guys. So... Yeah, that's that video. So this is something I can look back on. I can't wait to actually just, you know, watch this myself because I've learned so much about myself and it's all because I've hit 10,000 subscribers. Like, it's weird because I never thought this would happen, but I wasn't thinking much. When I was on 999 subs, I was just like, oh yeah, shit, yeah, I'm getting closer to 10K. And then when I hit 10K, I was, I'm not even bullshitting. I was, like, I wasn't physically shaking if you're watching me, but you know when you get, like, pins and needles throughout your body? It was just, and I felt all this ridiculous height and then right when I hit 10k I went for a run and I ran my fastest 10k's ever like there's so much motions going on it's insane anyways this video is approaching 14 minutes so I better cut it off here anyways go chase your dream find something you guys enjoy doing don't go working five days a week for someone else you won't enjoy life but the thing is we all may need to do that for a few years until we eventually have enough money to go invest it into things and go pursue our career and what we really want but that's the way the cookie crumbles <laughs> yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed peace out